Well, I made it to uh, Flea Masters again, and I'm in Yellow Row. Uh, Yellow Row is the best row if you like old stuff, antique things like that. So I am going to check it out and see if I find anything. All right, we're on. Um, here's our pickups today. Uh, again, we went to uh, Flea Master. Uh, we went late. I didn't expect to find too much, but there's a, a woman there that Marie likes where she uh, has been finding jewelry. Um, I'm going to show what I got quick and first. Here, you might as well. I wonder if this works to no. make things look. All right. Um, game related. There wasn't really anything other than other vendors who sell games at retail there for me to choose from. So the one thing, the two things that I did buy was I bought um, a Nintendo GameCube power supply and AV. These come in. Uh, uh, Handy for me, I spent 10 for the two, and then I bought this Game Shark 2. This was $2 for the PlayStation 2 console, black back. Daryl, I'm going to give that to you. Um, got two Blu rays, paid three bucks, two for five. I want to see these movies. The tournament looks pretty cool. And then uh, Haywire. I saw the promos for Haywire uh, a couple of days ago, and, it, and it's got a lot of good uh, actors in it. Um, Gina Carano, don't know. Michael Fassbender, know him. Good. Owen McGregor, like him. Bill Paxton. Bill Paxton, wow. Uh, recently passed away. Uh, Channing Tatum, must have been pretty young. Uh, Antonio Banderas and Michael Douglas. All right. Uh, here's what my wife got. Oh, I'll start with this. Uh, it's a Zelda belt buckle. It's dated 2008 on the back. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can see. It's in relatively good condition. Couple of scuffs on the back side. Uh, you only paid you paid a hundred fifty for all the jewelry that you got. I paid fifteen, seventeen for what I got. Um, but she was pricing things either and very inexpensively or more expensively, right? Uh, this you said she only charged you a dollar for. Yeah. Right. So I mean, yeah. when everything averages out, it comes out to be pretty damn good. What do you want to show next? Uh, this is a pin. Uh, these were designer made, but a lot of people made copies. I couldn't find a um, mark on it. Yeah. Um, Either way, we don't see these around the too name much anymore. of the designer, but they're like... So like an Eisenberg or... No, 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 no. You know who no, I just no, said, sorry. Eisenberg? You know who that is? That's a guy from um, Breaking Bad. <laughs> oh, whatever. Eisenberg. And he's also a designer in my head. This is... Um, these are cool. I used to shoot... I used to take photos of these for a, a client that they had yeah. at the studio. All right, so... I don't know if it was like an uh, Elizabeth Arden used to make these. Some There was a designer that used to make these. I actually did. And I can't remember who it is. But it has all its stones, and it's really cool because you can, like, pin this on your shoulder. Yeah, no, it's a really nice piece. Yeah, it's a nice piece. Can you put that online or not? If I don't sell it at the... Okay, what do you want to show next? Okay, um, this is a uh, Givenchy. And this is basically and one it's of It's just your... a heavy chain but it's a design yeah, it's definitely a heavy one because look yeah. at the thickness of it it's about it's like uh at least a half inch in thickness and it's got a Givenchy clasp then i got three pairs of cufflinks only because the street fair that we're doing there's a guy that likes to buy cufflinks yeah and you know what they ask for cufflinks um, and these are these nice these i like because they're they've got the mercury head dimes in them right you think they're legit dimes or not um they could be but i doesn't matter. Any, I mean, uh, they're not worth anything because somebody glued them. Were into any of these something. hallmarked or um, cufflinks? Uh, well, let me get to it. These okay. are some kind of iridescent glass, which was really cool. I thought these were really nice. Yeah, they are nice. Um, there wasn't a mark on these. Sometimes that the kind of like frosted. It's not really frosted uh, metal, but embossed kind of me metal. Uh, no, it's not embossed. No. The metal yeah. on the back. Oh, the metal on the back? That's just they, costume. But they did that like tone. in the 70s, right? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Helps date it? No. I see I see this back on more vintage uh, cufflinks is what, what I'm saying. What do you mean the back? You, see how the way the metal is? It's not oh, smooth. Oh, that it's got texture to it? Yeah, texture. I was kept I thinking know. embossed. Just, yeah. you know, you know video games. You just talk about video games, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Video games. These are sterling silver cufflinks. And sometimes it, you have to look inside... The shank. The inside the shank, it'll say um, sterling if they're older. Yeah, this one yeah. says sterling on the inside. Okay. Inside there. Hey, and they're you didn't really talk about like what you might think you'll get. For the cufflinks, what do you sell them? Like 5 um, to 15? Yeah. It, well, these, I probably maybe 10 to 15. Okay. Probably 10 if That's I'm good. lucky. Yeah, if you're desperate, yeah. like 5 or 8. Yeah, if I'm desperate, 5. What do you think for I this? Because I paid 5 for all three of them. This big, thick Givenchy? Well, I got a flea market. I'm gonna ask forty. Sure. 
um, if you go online, I think Givenchy stuff goes it's, for a lot more money. And it's all over the place, though. But you there's know. so much of it. I know. Um, the pin, I'm going to try and get 15 to 20 yeah, for. That's, that's real reasonable. This piece, I just like the carving of the fish. The lady's trying to tell me it's ivory, but, but it's, it's not. not. You could tell it's ju it's just bone. Yeah, it's they lacquer ivory, it. And ivory they... usually has um, very tiny uh, striping. Yeah, and you're not supposed uh, to buy lines. or sell new ivory. And anyway. the striping will be like crisscrossy. Yeah, this isn't and, a really and old piece. It, you could see it on close inspection, no, but nice. this is just. Yeah, but I like the like the look of it. And it's not an old piece, right? I mean, it. it mm. I don't Not know, written. maybe 70s, yeah, 80s. Yeah, that's what I meant. Um, I just like the carving of the fish. It's just, yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's and got it's Asian got the, ta the tassel flavor. and then these little little accents Word, here. And horn beads. Yeah. This one is um, silver and assorted. Like, this is marked uh, S-T-E-R. It's marked sterling. Okay, that's like an older mark. Yep. It's a... Uh, the lady told me it was silver. I have to check it. Though. It looks silver. You know. I mean, there's really very little silver. There's exactly. these two chunky You're, pieces. It's not like a, a flat. This set. little um, totem at the bottom is marked. What'd you call it? You call sterling it sterling. Um, also, a, little, a fetish. You said. It's well, this one I, is a little totem. Okay. And it's got these little and other little tiny crosses yeah, on it. Yeah, and this it's is just, definitely, that's the kind yeah. of stuff people yeah, uh, the, that do. It, Indian it has like work. little um, silver accents. Yeah. But it's nice. It's red glass. Um, yeah, that's bigger than the seed bead size, yeah, right? Yeah, but it's a nice, it's a nice necklace. Definitely nice, yeah. Th there's a little feather, fetish, right? yeah. and it's silver. Yeah, so it's probably crosses. it's probably native, inspired, or uh, type of design. This is... Um, white? White turquoise. Um, and that's a thing. If you never yeah, heard of I it. never heard of it before until today. Actually, yeah. I looked online and they're calling it white buffalo turquoise. I don't know why, but whatever. Um, but uh, I think this is jasper. I'm not sure of this stone. And then there's this pendant that hangs on the back. It's marked uh, nine two five, so it's not super old. Nah. But it's got that same jasper, and these are probably red coral. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, but I just liked. I never saw white like turquoise a, what, you didn't before. Say, uh, what do you think you'll sell this for? Uh, this one I'd like to try and get like forty to fifty for. And what'd you pay? Like I might 20? pay twenty for this. Yeah, so like forty fifty. And the same know. for this one. I'd like yeah. to get forty or fifty. I yeah. paid. This would probably be I harder to 20. get. This, this, you know, but. Well, a lot of um, Asian customers like yeah. a lot of like ivory and. Yeah, bone, bone natural-looking stone, yeah. Well, that uh, one I showed Amber. You. Yeah. Right. And this one we already saw. This one And this one, what do you think you'll sell us for? Like, same 50, 60? Yeah, I'd like to, yeah. Okay. We'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. Uh, this was um, all amethyst and citrine stones. Yeah. With, I don't know if it looks silver, but I'm not it sure. It looks like the stuff they were pumping out of Bali yeah, in like the 90s. Yeah, there's no, there's no mark. I actually like Bali silver a lot. I had some really nice chains, nice thick, interesting links, uh, nice designs, not simple or plain. or It wasn't hammered work. It was all like uh, where they scrolled the silver and put bead the work, and, bead yeah, work. Yeah, on top of it. And stuff, yeah. So what do you say this is? This is Jeff? No, This no, is Jasper. citrine and amethyst. Oh, okay. Wow, I'm getting a foot cramp. And, um, yeah, I'm going to try and get, like, 60 for Again, that. right. Yeah. And if, if it doesn't sell, it'll look good in the case for a bit until we stick it online, I this guess. This one yeah. is, it's got sterling silver. It's marked 925 at the top. It's got freshwater pearls with um, clear quartz crystal chips and then these black pearl, um, little freshwater black pearls. Again, not the kind of thing, if you put it on eBay, nobody will find it. There's, so, know many, it is. there's yeah. so much pearls on eBay and but stuff coming market, out of China. But at a flea market, you know, and the right market, you get the I'm right customer. I'm just hoping it's the right color for fall. Yeah. Um, it's definitely nice looking. Yeah. yeah. And then I got this. Uh, this is like a Bali piece. Yeah, that and looks it's marked uh, 925. Right there. Right your fingernails yeah, it's a is. nice bangle bracelet with nice, my fingernails a clean? lot of nice yes. <laughs> workmanship on it. Yeah. And then I've got this little tiny uh, egg. Yeah, it's it's kind it's of... It's enamel, right? and I think it's silver. I think it's marked 800. Yeah, there's some markings on which, it. There's more than one marking, too. I, we just couldn't make them out. We need to Probably really would it. make it like... German or maybe even Russian because it's right. sort of like a filigree 
Yeah, it definitely um, has filigree, and it has what? What's a uh, what's the now? What's the other? There's name markings for here, but I just don't have my magnifier right now to, yeah. to what's the other be able to read it. That um. Gioche. Gioche. Is it Gioche? G-U-I-L-L-O-C-H-E. Is it Gioche? Is it Gioche? This might be Gioche. Okay. It's like I got a. It's just. It's just a really little cute little. Yeah, like egg shaped, um, yeah. filigree, enamel, Gioche. And the detail and is just really pretty. That's also hallmarked as yeah. sterling, whatever. And then the last piece was. This is the this the one. stunner. Yeah. This, and this one. I only... paid. Can you shush? Thank you. I. Hey. I paid. <laughs> you talk to. This is my video. Um, I paid 50 for this. Okay. Um, is that a lot? Nah. It's Navajo. Usually Navajo have like a leaf design. Yep. Um, it's not marked on the back of the piece. Nope. It might but, be, you know, sometimes they mark it under the, you know, but. No, eh. it's not marked under there. But it is marked here on the choker necklace. Could you make it out? Yes, it says EMT and it looks like it's inside like a Jesus fish. Oh, okay. And UMT. then it says Sterling. Okay. Can you see it? I don't know. Uh, you it's you read it. It's like and you can Sterling. see something. I probably am losing focus, but I do see something. So whatever. Yeah. So you this it one, me. I'm hoping to try and ask like 150. You paid 150 for everything. And I might be able to get this my money pay back for on everything. this one piece. And then, and then there's some stuff that we can sell online, and there's some stuff that we'll just have to sell at the flea market. But I this should, in my mind, like very easily double your money, right? And maybe pushing towards like like two and a half to maybe three times your money on it, or it all depends. You know, like a ballet piece like this, if you can get like forty or or, or something yeah, like I'd that. Like to try and so get you know, like you're two hundred right there, and and then you know, say you get about. This is probably just like a twenty dollar piece. Yeah. Would you pay for that? I, I don't remember. Maybe yeah, whatever. 10. I might have paid ten for. Yeah. This. So say you got another hundred here, so you're two fifty. And yeah, okay. I'd say like three, uh, three fifty, right? Because you had said you'd like to get about forty for this, forty for that. That's eighty. So uh, and then whatever. So you just round and down. You never know. I, I might even start higher and see what I could do once I'm at Definitely, there. definitely. I think we're always reasonable. You know, it's just when they said uh, when when you said one hundred fifty for everything, and then you showed me this, I'm like, yeah, just get it, because I'm very confident that if that we can get one hundred fifty for this by itself at a flea market. If we don't sell it at the flea market for 150, I put it online for uh, over two, 250, 300, something like that. You know, because it's a nice statement piece. Yeah, it's huge. It's like it's belt buckle size, and be mm -hmm. belt buckles that of that size yeah, start at like at, at common ones start at 125 and go up to like 350. So mm -hmm. you know, uh, that's everything. That's all we got today. I don't think uh, maybe we'll go shopping one more time on Tuesday. Maybe. Yeah, that's it. Uh, Shout out to all my friends. You know who you are. Naz, AJ, Ugh. Video Gamer, Daryl. You got any internet friends you want to shout out? No. You want to shout out so Hannah? Dumb. You want to shout out the no, dog? No <laughs> so shout out like... Uh, You're being dumb. I can't remember the dog's name. What's the dog's name? Uh, Sasha. Sasha. It's Sasha. a dog. The dog isn't on the internet. Sasha! <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So this is what one of the perfume kiosks looks like here in the center. Yeah. And here's the food court. Someone asked me to just walk by and shoot, but it, uh, what the kiosk looks like. So I did. 